So I am going with a new game, Sandbox. And I was told... Random map. Oh yeah. Okay, cool. So you can just select a map or random map is the first one here. Aha. And this was brought in with the recent update, I think last Thursday it came out. So I could be like, I want a huge one. With like very high landmass. Plateaus, uh, maybe not many. Many islands. We'll go with some islands. The main island's pretty big though. Climate normal, climate variation, medium resources, balance. You can have it rich or filthy rich. Starting era, we'll start in the colonial wars again. Starting population, 75. Sure, starting money, 50. I guess foreign aid, fares seemed okay. Caribbean happiness seemed fine. Political difficulty, fair. So you can make those like forgiving and opposition, make them friendly. Like you can make this pretty easy if you want. And that's nice. Because I know a couple people who they'd be really interested in this game if and only if the um, balancing of political factions and all that wasn't quite so uh, quite so difficult, which it's not so bad, but it does suck being constantly bombarded with missions like, oh, you got to do this or else. And it just I could definitely see how it would be um, a problem for some people. But OK, I mean, we'll we'll see how huge, huge is, I guess. There's the seat if you want to join in and play along. Wasn't too bad to generate, actually. And we've got, oh yeah, that's that's pretty big. I mean, you can sort of see the, the obvious square shape that uh, it generates in. It's a little obvious, but otherwise, I mean, this is... This is fine, plenty of beach going on. We got some uh, some ruins there for, for visitors, I'd assume. Tourists. Overlays, what do we have here? Beauty, forest, yeah. Coconut. A bit. And the soil's totally fine everywhere. Cattle we can have up there. Sheep. Sure. Pigs, llamas, goats. Yeah, we can have pretty much whatever we want up there. Crop-wise, corn, sugar, the cocoa, tobacco, banana. Yeah, I'm not sure how much farming I'm going to be doing, though. And resource-wise, nothing too wild and crazy. Okay. So, there's our dock with no road connection. Excellent, thanks for that, I guess. Uh, my palace, sure. We already start with a bunch of shit shacks. Oh my god. So how much homeless do we have at the start? 26 of them. They're like all for broke. And we started with the Teamster office and all that. Yeah, Teamster office, construction office, we started with that. The ranch for cattle we started with. Interesting. Do not decrease fertility in its vicinity. Yo. I'll probably end up moving that though. Okay, so let's get built some bunk houses. But I'm going to take this a little slower this time. Because I want to make sure that I get like a proper industry type thing set up. So like tannery, process hides, produce leather. We could just immediately go from this. Can we change the... It's cattle. Ah, change resource. Cattle, sheep gives wool and milk. Crocodile. Crocodile. That's new. Um, that's just leather, though. Pig, just meat. Llama, just wool. Goat, just milk. So we're going to be going for the meat and hide hybrid thing here. Which is fine. That's what it started with. So we can do that. We can create a tannery for work. Uh... For now, it can be... 
basically right here, sure. If I get rid of this road, can I build more ranches? Just make sure that I get a, a bunch of them. I can, but cattle doesn't go so well here. It's only 51% efficient. Okay. Well, we could do some crocodile farming out here. But even that's not super efficient. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good up there. So I might just be moving all of that stuff then. Be like, bang, crocodile. And crocodile. And yeah, crocodile there too. All of those. And this instead of cattle, we're just gonna get rid of that then. We'll move it. And move the tannery, cancel that. Because we'll be moving that up here. And it could be that I produce way more leather than I can actually use right now. Bit of an S-bend. Yeah, sure. In which case, fine. Curve around like that, I guess. And then we can have another road leading to it. I'd like to not do an S-Bend for this, though. No S-Bends unless I have to, basically. Because otherwise we end up taking up just so much space. So that's that. A little bit of production. They get their own nice route over here. I could even uh, have an extra road just straight down. Make that a little easier for the Teamsters. And possibly even move the Teamster office. Or just build the other one. Just build another one over here. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So that's that bit going. We'll probably get the mission to do ROM. Probably. What am I looking for? All oh, right, residential. Bunkhouses, because we're going to have a lot of poor people going in. And you... Right. Fine. There. You have a road connection now. God damn it. It's turned a stupid way. There that goes. So I can just put bunkhouses in. At some point, maybe. Hello? There we go. Nice little block of them. <laughs> that road. <laughs> uh... Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay, times for speed. Let's see what happens. And then we give them the, the what's it so they have... Uh, poor people can live there, right? Construction rate increased by 20, but there's a slight chance of death. Yeah, okay, fine. We like... Oh, they're all over there. Okay, fine. Governor, the people have a request. They want the pirate... We can do the pirate code right away? It's nice to have right. choices, isn't it? Choices and like fulfill a trade route with the crown. Governor, or begin a new career in manual... Okay, pirate code first, though. Didn't know we can... Well, yeah, we can get that right away. All right. Good deal. All right. Just right next to the dock, right? I mean, they bring in stuff. A 
lot of stuff for them to build. And trade route. Uh, doesn't have to be anything too crazy and wild. They moved the tabs. This used to be here. With the crown. They're not importing anything. I can only export. So I guess we export meat. No, I'm not doing meat. I guess it'd have to be logs. Because the thing with the farms is I'm concerned about the fertility of it all decreasing so quickly, you know? But I'd like to maybe not. We can try for logs. We got cool logging camps around. Or areas for logging camps. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's really no problem. Get a couple of those up. And I'll quick build these. Something to take and give, and might have to hire foreign workers. Don't know. Demolish all of these shacks. Look at them all. We started with so many of them. Downside of having all of my whatever over here instead of over here is we don't live over there so they got got a little ways to go could be a problem empty in stock we got workers there yeah we got workers they hired okay so we already got a hundred logs so we'll go for the... Of course, I missed my chance. I never accepted it. Okay, how long do I have? As long as I want. Okay, fine. I'll hang on to it then. I'll wait for a log export. Although I suppose turning these into planks wouldn't be a bad thing. Because then we can do a furniture later on. Yeah, fine. Put it there in case I want to do an intersection here. Loop it around so we can get some more residential folk in. So stack them higher so broke people can live in there. Because I have... Um... People. Homeless. A few. Most of them poor right now. Let's fix this road. Our revolution is as yet only marginally glorious. Yeah, huh? revolutionary immigrants. Absolutely. There. And that gives us enough room for tavern? So I don't know if we started with the tavern at all. We could do the tavern or do a circus also. Uh, library, get that going real quick. The grocery... Ah, doesn't quite fit. Damn. Clinic I can't do, Fort and Guard Tower, the dungeons and parks. Let's do that then, let's go for the tavern. And then we'll throw in some parks. A two by one. And then a little small one there. There we go. Look at that. That's cute. It's awesome. It's fantastic. So how are we doing with this? Empty in stock. 
Well measured, more the better. Increase efficiency, increase efficiency by 50, pollution increased by 100, upkeep increased by 100. We'll see what you get in. Looks like we're only just now getting some leather. It took it a little bit, but we're getting there. Logs going out, coming in here. 2,000 logs in. Yeah, they still don't uh, don't have it. Oh, yeah. Loot raid. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Uh, under black cells. Yeah, that's fine. Forgot about that. So, raids. We were doing a loot raid, was it? Yeah. Power Cove. Define raid. Oh, loot. A loot raid, yeah. God. I'm stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's difficult being me. Mm. Coffee, corn, and gold? And then probably treasure hunts. And this is just a guide thing, yeah. Fisherman Wharf. We got any good fish in here? What else do we got? That's it for that. The plantation. Right, yeah, that was the farm. Which, ugh, I don't know. A rubber farm? I don't know, I mean, I guess it's not so bad if you have the multi-culture, but I also don't quite have the space for it here. Not for rubber, at least. Because the multiculture, you need what? You'd have like one corn and then a banana next to it or something, and like a sugar next to that. So I could do like. I could do a corn here. Then banana just to the south of that. And then a pineapple. Yeah, I, could, I could do it. Let's do it. 81%, 83%. 85%. I'd like to have the whole farm in there. So there's corn. Right, I told myself I wasn't going to, but here we are. Then banana. Only 40% efficient. Gross. Pineapple. Oh, I see. With that blue circle. Oh. Okay. So you're actually like mostly in the water. Yeah, well. Pineapple sugar. Cocoa. And do a bit of cocoa. Tobacco, coffee, coffee we could do down here. Maybe not. Cotton. Cotton, big time. And rubber claims to be cool here. Okay. So there we go. It's like Plantation Avenue there. Please no us bends. There we go. Hard bends. Okay, and we'll set those all to multiculture. So their efficiency will be a bit low, but it's a nice variety of things and stuff. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how that goes. 
I don't want to hear anybody complaining that I don't have enough jobs, though. Man, we got so many jobs. Crown sends 4 and 8, 5,500. Very nice. We got a cool export yet? No. I think every time I look at this, it just gets worse. Coffee, corn, gold, sugar, tobacco. I don't really want to import something. Although importing 400 coffee wouldn't be so bad. Because that's 3,800 for 1,000, so 380 for just 100. So almost 400 per. So that's like 1,600 there. 750, that's about the same. 150 gold. That's that's just over a thousand. Actually, gold might not be too bad to import. Honestly, strangely, I think gold's the way to go for import if I were to import one. Fine, I'll import gold. And we'd want another Teamster office over here for this group of shit. Right? I think so. A Teamster office for like every little grouping of industry, yeah? This one down here just kind of to have, I suppose. I'm not really sure what it's going to be. I guess to help haul stuff to grocery stores and such. Although these guys would be doing that, I don't know. Before I forget, multiculture decreases efficiency by 40%, but it doesn't decrease fertility over time. It gets 10% for e efficiency for other plantations in the vicinity with a different crop running on the same work mode. So it's minus 40, but if I set them all to mono, uh, multiculture, and it tells you because of the circle, we should be actually plus 60. So plus 20 overall. Yeah, well, ish. Yeah. Okay, cool. And what was that about chainmail gloves? 500, job quality plus 10. Sure. But, pasture prohibition. Don't fuck up all that. We're going for the long term. Hey, there's a loot. 1,000 coffee, 1,600 corn, and 200 gold. And that go into here. Need a teamster for it. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, I could put a teamster office over here, sure. Why not? Viva la revolucion! Together. Immigrants, please. I think I'm doing it right, because people were like, hey, you need more Teamsters, so, you know, I'm, I'm trying to focus that, trying to focus the industry a little bit more, because I hit that pretty lightly, uh, last time. There's the gold. Okay, yeah, automatically open that when uh, completed. Well, sure, I'm okay with that. Thing, which is whatever the crowd Extend the mandate, so we have a bit more than three years. Oof. Cotton export was 20%. 2,500 cotton. That's a lot of cotton. Uh, I'll try it, though. That, that's good money. Oof. Build a tavern. I can do that. I will build the best damn tavern you've ever seen if I could find it. There it is, tavern. Uh, we can put a tavern out here by the working area, right? Maybe I have like a little road come down and we have another neighborhood of sorts. Up. Something like that. 
Build a few more bunkhouses. Because I can't do any sort of uh, transportation, can I? Newspaper and library I should also build real quick. Yeah, grocery. Put a grocery in. You guys have a grocery. You guys all have a grocery. Chapel. What rotation do we have here? What is this? Okay, that's the front there. So you guys get one. You guys can get one. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. propaganda. Generate knowledge. Should probably get a library going before it's too late. Um. Yeah, I guess. An edict. Didn't even look at these. Urban development. That would have been a good one. <laughs> Visitors to religious buildings pay a fee. Decreases efficiency of them by 15. Decrease religious standing by 5. Capitalists increase by 5. Job quality of each workplace by 15%. Decrease efficiency by 12%. Decreases pollution by 10%. That'd be a good one for like, oh, we need job quality. And I'll be like, okay, cool. Bang, mandatory siesta. And it's all fixed up. And awesome and cool. And yeah, I know you guys needed houses over here. I think I fixed that though. Kind of. A little bit. Any more? No. Oh, look at that. 11,000. More, Governor. More. Always more. Hop to it. The crown. Sure. I think we just finished the export also. No, maybe not. So they want me to import... I can do meat. Stock price for meat, sure. Done. So I can actively use that. Yeah, fine. Another trade license. Yeah, it kind of will be a little bit. 